I'm here at Founders Park where the South Carolina Gamecocks just suffered their first loss of the 2024 season at the hands of the Belmont Bruins with a final score of 11 to two. Let's take a look at how it all unfolded. Following a victory last night, over 8,000 fans were at the ballpark for game two. The Gamecock pitching staff came into the game with a 1.84 ERA and starting pitcher Dylan Eskew held that to start the day with a no hitter through four innings. The offense was slow to catch up, but put the first run on the board in the bottom of the fourth. Dylan Brewer extended his hit streak to five games with a bunt single. Yeah. Gavin Casas followed it up with a double down the right field line to bring the runner home. <laughs> Things took a turn in the fifth when Eskew gave up a walk and hit by pitch, followed by a Belmont double from LaRoe to score a pair of runs and take the lead from South Carolina. Rowe made it home himself by the end of the inning with a sack fly to right. The sixth inning started with another pair of runners reaching home for Belmont, leading to a Gamecock pitching change. Chris Veach came in to strike out the next three. Brewer then tripled in the bottom of the sixth to score Causey. But Brewer's two hits led the Gamecock offense as South Carolina was not able to score for the rest of the game. <laughs> Belmont extended their lead late in the game with the first home run of the day coming in the eighth. In the eighth and ninth, the Bruins tallied six runs on four hits, in part due to more fielding errors from the Gamecocks. South Carolina had a rough game overall with four errors from the defense and 13 men left on base by the offense. The rubber match will be here tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. For SGTV, I'm Aiden Connor.